Okay. Good morning. It's a party. And we're going to end it. If it's anything like the first one. So yes, this is Party Hard 2. Uh, as you saw on the opening screen this morning, this is a promo stream. Uh, thank you to Tiny Build for providing the key for today's game. Um, Tiny Build is, I believe they are the publisher on this one. Let me just make sure. Because, you know, I don't like being wrong about these things. But yes, Tiny Build is the publisher. Um, it was Pino Pinocchi? Pinocchi? Pinocchi Games? Pinocchi Games? I don't know. I said it every which way possible. I'm sure one of them might have been right. Um, so yes, hello, old Kesh. Good morning, um, or good afternoon to you. So yeah, we're gonna do some party hard this morning. Yeah. Party hard killer. The wannabe. So yes, we were the party hard killer in the first one. Ability, party vision. Weapon is a knife. And skill is the multi-kill. The wannabe. Extra health, extra stamina. They also have party vision. They also have a knife. And they also have multi-kill. So in other words, the wannabe is easy mode. Yeah, don't get us wrong, but... This guy is for casual use. Yeah, extra health, extra stamina, extra everything, except maybe final cut scenes playing over his, his head. Hmm. Hold your horses though. Achievements and item unlocks are not available. Go on, select him. We totally understand. You may just want to sit back, relax, and enjoy the story and all that, but you just won't be able to tell your friends that you really beat Party Hard 2. However, don't worry, nobody will recognize you with that bag on your head anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. And I guess these are the, uh, the killers that we don't have. Yeah. So, Cowtech has invisibility. Extraterrestrial firearms, uh, magnetic field, and the item, tra a trap item. And then Sean Openda. It's a panda! They have pandy vision. Their weapon is a fist. Their skill is the Flames of Pandala. And they have a second skill. Pandash Kick. Okay, we'll be the Party Hard Killer. So we're at the club. Objectives, kill the dealers, kill the sorters, hide a dead body, destroy army crates, evacuate. Here we go. to sleep man but those damn parties they're so loud You know, you can't really get much of the sh these shows if you keep changing the channel all the time. Damn. 
Damn it, it's 3 a.m. They're like rats in this city, drenched in cheap booze and filth. They just exist, wallowing in the pathetic gorge. Well, guess what? It's time to exterminate them. <laughs> This is healthy. Episode one, Nightclub 24, three weeks before the interview. Instinct shows me stuff I can sabotage, I'm guessing. Oh. Guess I can't go there. Yo, Sean. Let's just hide that body there for now. We're just gonna hide all the bodies in here for now. Why not? By the way, Sean, how'd the race go this morning? I saw you did the... Uh that early one at like 6 a.m. Well, yo, Scruff, good morning or afternoon. Thank you for continuing to sub. Oops, I got found out. Who'd you play against? Warcraft QC. Hmm. Oops. That didn't go well. <laughs> that went really bad.
Ouch. Of course you did. Uh, who wouldn't have last location to those? Completed a hidden objective. Interesting. Why is it that Armos always gets the the auto mod? Why? I still don't understand what that word has any problem. And I've like I've put it in the list of accepted terms so many times. Yeah, the uh, Plando setup last night was pretty fun. Um, Amarith and my location picks like totally interacted in the worst ways possible. <laughs> uh, I, I won. But, oh boy. So, my picks were Thieves Town Small Key in a Tile Room of GT. And GT Big Key in Thieves Town Big Chest. And I thought that was genius. You know figured tower room's gonna be a late pick well she put the hook shot in pre moldorm 2 chest which you know significantly limits your GT maneuverability um, and then to make matters worse the Thieves Town Big Key eluded us for pretty much the whole race. Um, oh, her other pick was uh, Swamp Palace Small Key on Lumberjack. Uh, luckily, that one kind of... I wouldn't say it was obvious. Like, you know, you see a couple of, of Thieves Town Small Keys and you're kind of like... Um... You know, you don't think too much of it, but I saw the one on the Lumberjack and I was kind of like, okay, I've got a feeling like she did that kind of deal or like somebody did that. So I pretty quickly realized that was probably that one. Um... <laughs> mm 
but what was it um so like those were her two those were my two um the booth pick was uh the single arrow at dig spot which whatever and um the audience pick was a bottle on sick kid a bottle of blue goo on sick kid So, generally kind um, from the outside, but the inside decisions between us did not. And the thing was, was like, the seed conspired on its own without our intervention. Fire Rod and Ice Palace, GT Big, or Beavestown Big Key, on magic bat with powder in GT on um, Bob's chest and even mushroom so like nobody could fake powder because the mushroom was lava island chest of TR it's so like you want to see some uh, annoying combinations Like, oh boy. Um, so yeah, that was not a, that was not kind. Um, but I guess I'm during the lead here as I won by a minute and a half. Um, I got pretty lucky, I'd say. Um... I don't know... So here's here's the the weird thing about what happened. Um, I had a good lead to start um, when, but what kind of slowed me down was G T or uh, Vanilla Big Key Chest in Pod had the Desert Big Key and Landmo 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 had Ether Medallion which was our entry requirement for Meyer. So first trip into to pod, I had five smalls, no bow. So I said, I'm gonna skip um, vanilla big key chest. So I missed out on desert big for a while. Um, luckily I found the sixth pod small and went back and got it and was probably like a couple minutes behind her. Um, and then like, we kind of converged on GT about the same time. Um, but we were so limited in GT. Like, you can do double fire bar on the left and the torch. And on the right, you could do compass room, hope room, tile room, Armos and Bob's chest. So like, and by the time we got there, you know, you know what you're looking for. We're looking for the Thieves Town Big and um, the GT Big and the Hook Shop. And Amareth knows where the hookshot is. But she proceeded to try to get into uh, Stalfos room. Which was kind of surprising. 
I my only thought is is that she was kind of thinking that like maybe Thieves Town Big was over there. But yeah, I was kind of surprised. Uh, yeah, we did, um... The mode we went with was, uh... All dungeons, keys. We went over the top. And hey, Dopey. I'll try not to party too hard. We're trying to end this party because, you know, it's 3 a.m. and we want to sleep. <laughs> So yeah, we did, uh, as um, JTN was one of the comms, who was like, we're, we, we did uh, a dork seed. All dungeons, open, randomized sword, key sanity. So. So like, I, my only thought is, is that she must have assumed that Thieves Town Big was gonna be left side. Because everything else was kind of, like, known. Yeah, I mean, it's a good skip. I don't blame anybody for trying it. I just was kind of like... Part of me looked at it and was like, well, why? I watched it back. Um, but as I've said, like... I've, oh, I've felt like since... She and I got matched up in the same group and like I looked at her her runs and her record and I kind of realized we were going to be evenly matched. So I'm glad I split. Did I want to do like, did I want to get a sweep? Sure. And if I hadn't skipped Agina in race one, I would have won race one. So I'm happy I kind of got away with something in race two. You know, I'm not super pleased with how it all went, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, could have been worse.
You know, you, you take what you can at times, so. Okay, so we gotta kill two more dealers. Ah, there's one at the, uh, the jukebox here. Don't tell me you know. Buzz is here. Okay, it looks like I'm safe. So, but yeah, I've got uh, four more matches for groups. Um, two against Fusion Warrior and two against Zeke Wolf. So we'll see, you know, how those shake out. Um, Zeke's a fairly new runner, so we'll see, you know, what he's got up his sleeve. Uh, and <coughs> um, Fusion's, uh, I don't have a lot of information about uh, Fusion. But I know Fusion is primarily, I've seen them do um, SMZ3. So we're going to have to, you know, see how to work it. We just got to kill this one last dealer. You know, I'm just such a stealth person, right? Okay. We're out of here. <laughs> Evacuate! We did it! Success. Press to continue. Total time, 16 minutes, 53 seconds. We killed the dealers. We killed the sorters. We hit a dead body. We destroyed the army crates, we evacuated, and we did one of the secret objectives. And we did a challenge, burn five party goers. Party, yeah. Or, yeah. What Chaos is this, Dopey? Underground nightclub. People killed. The police suspect a man known as the Party Hard Killer. <laughs> Doctor McBride, why didn't your oh. therapy help him? My client Darius is insane. He needs psychiatric help. I did everything I could as a therapist. This was only the beginning for the masked killer. Shortly afterward, he chose a new place to hunt. You're watching High Crime. Stay tuned. I mean... Just trying to think about how I could rack up that amount, but, you know, if I had, like, no Sometimes You, Rattalakas, East Asia's Victory Road games done... I think it's possible. Well, here's the thing. Worth it 
whatever. Um, <sighs> secret achievements. Make a cop fly. Okay. Shish kebab. Take ten party goers out with a f with fire in a row. Unchain line. Finish party hard too. So, as I was trying to think, um, yeah, like your second account, whatever. But like that was the thing. Like you know, don't do this. This is not allowed. This is completely like not cool. Um, but like. I have all those games on my account. I've unlocked all the achievements in them, so it like it doesn't help me. But like, you know, my brother. What if I, you know, had him come over and like, hey, I'm gonna unlock, you know, fifty thousand G in a day using your account on all these stupidly easy quick games. And just keep doing it. Right. And that's kind of the thought. Like, you know, your wife has that ability with the account. My brother has, would have that ability. Like, I know my brother doesn't have any of the easy games done. Like, because that's just not who he is. Like, he's not an achievement person. Lots of secret achievements. Kill dealers, kill bikers, or kill them all. You can take money from the safe and bribe a punk. Exactly. Well, and I'm a, here's the thing, it's, I, I forget if I said this during Reese's stream or Joe's stream or like who I mentioned it during, honestly, at this point. But. Oh crud! Um, I don't remember if what it, if it was a specific game, Joe. Just more of a a remark about you know the the whole Hall of Fame thing. Like you know, there's gonna be. I think it was Reese's stream, probably. But like, And we just got an achievement by using a car to kill people. I just want to get some sleep. Execute a five times combo. Um, so here's your options at this point. It's going to be, you know, your Hall of Fame people for doing well during it are going to be alts. Because... Who else is gonna have the ability to put up that kind of score? You know, your true, like your hardcore achievement people have probably done a lot of those games at this point. Um, then you look at, you know, all the power to people who have the high scores already. But, you know, you're gonna get those and I know we mentioned, like, Stallion was the one that we talked about earlier and, you know, the hate that goes his way just because of, like, the prominence. But, like, nothing against him. Um, but, like, people aren't going to pass him or Smirnov or, you know, a lot of those. Yo, Tom, thank you for continuing your sub. And yeah, agreed with the uh, the drive or the ability. It's just, you know, you can only do so much. 
Yo, Tom, I never begrudge if it's been a while. Just glad to see people come out, you know. No, we're trying to end the parties, by the way. All I wanted was to sleep. Exactly. That's all. Am I lost? I want to go into the party. Murder. Exactly. Hmm, can I get like booze to Oh no! The fuzz! Yeah, they're not exactly, you know, I haven't, I threw a freaking Molotov, or I threw a grenade, and they didn't catch me. So. Um, Ray, when she's played it a bit, can I get her opinion on it? Because I've been considering it, and I would love to hear, you know, somebody else's or somebody's thoughts before getting it. I don't think I killed anybody with that Molotov. I didn't hear your thoughts, Ima. You didn't say you were playing it. If you're playing it, I'd love to hear yours too. Oh no! Take pen, 10 party goes out with fire. Take some booze. Oh 
we will craft a Molotov. Uh, family's doing good. How you been, Tom? That's good. How's the, how are you enjoying the work? Okay. Well, hopefully that's a, a good, interesting. I realize, you know, that's a, that can be a lot to ask sometimes. No, I haven't been in the lab in a while. If I if they did, I didn't read it. I've kind of just been, you know, doing the homework side of things just because, you know, technically I'm not supposed to drive, so. Yeah. Um, no real changes. <laughs> it's not, you know, something that's gonna... So the general gist is it's gonna be a slow go. Um, I'll keep some of these descriptions brief because I know some people don't like hearing about this kind of stuff. Um, so, two weeks ago, we had an eye injection of steroids. Um, the whole idea is there are some blood vessels, pathways, you know, in my eye that are not good. Um, like, what happened is, is that the diabetes kind of, you know, affected a lot of that kind of stuff in my eyes, in my retina. Um, which made it easier for the retinal hemorrhage to happen. Um, so what they what they suggested was is that, or what we're doing is um, he did a laser treatment to kind of like try to deal with them, and that just handled like some of the the underlying problems. But then the injection was also to assist in that. The idea is, is that it looks like, you know, like if I look right now with my right eye, like there's still the obstruction, but like there's some little breaks in it where I can see light coming through. I just have no real visual acuity through it. Um, so, 
Um, it's looking like, well, in my future, there will be a vitrectomy of sorts, um, possibly to remove the obstruction. But then the other piece of it is, you know, or the idea, the plan, I guess you could say, is that they want, he wants to do, um, like, we want to push it as long as possible right now, which, yes, it does suck for me. But um, the plan or the idea is, like, if we can wait, the longer we can wait, the better my odds are of keeping my vision. Um, so, like, right now, because I haven't had anything happen to my left eye, um, and, like, I haven't had a retinal tear or a retinal detachment, um, we can continue the treatment plan in this slow, methodical process where in two weeks I'm going to get another in steroid injection um, to continue to kind of, like, treat or do a pre-treatment of my eyes. Um, and then hopefully, you know, months down the line, we do surgery, um, you know, and doing these steps in the early or doing these steps now will help my odds. So yes, it, it's annoying to me because I, you know, I'd love to have vision here. I'd love to be able to see with my right eye. I think before everything happened, my right eye was my stronger one. And to only really be playing with, you know, living with one, kind of being able to do anything sucks. Like, that's difficult, but, you know, I'll do what I have to. Um, so, not a lot changed yesterday. Um, it's, like I said, it's going to be a slow go. And that's, that's the idea is like, you know, every, I, I go in, I get a vision test. Um, my left eye, you know, isn't much better. Like, you know, it's, if, if my left eye tested high enough, yes, I could drive. But right now, my left eye is not testing great. And my right eye, you know, I can't really see out of. So driving is a no-go. Like, yes, I can get around. Like, if I had to do, like, if I absolutely had to get somewhere, I'm sure I could. But it's not a good idea. So... I think the idea is, is like, so the glasses question, um, I'm going to ask about it next time because I think having it, like, I, I get the delay on it. Um, like I'm going in, I'm getting a vision test. I'm, you know, they're checking my eye pressure. My eye pressure is still good. Um, <laughs> they take pictures. The pictures aren't saying much to me, but I'm sure to them, you know, <laughs> to him, he knows what it means. Um, but then, you know, every time I go in, he's doing an ultrasound on my eye. He can't see just by looking if there's a retinal detachment because of the blockage. So, um, we're checking, you know, I, he, he's got the little, the little wand and puts the jelly on it and does an ultrasound on my eye every two weeks just to see if we've had a retinal detachment or tear. Um, but you know, if that doesn't happen and continues not to happen, that's good news for me. It's not... I have more fun with it than anything else. Like, it doesn't change anything for me. You know, I joke about like, having an eye baby. <laughs> um, and really like, it's on the eyelid, so like, 
he you know rubs it over my eye and then like takes a tissue and we wipe off my eye of the jelly like whatever it's kind of a nothing Yeah, like, I, I don't want to talk about the steroid thing too much, um, but I'll say it's not nearly as bad as it sounds. But yes, I've... I, I had I discussed it in a previous stream and I know it's not comfortable material for everybody so I kind of want to avoid it as like a talking point but yeah no real changes um, I met with my my actual doctor on Monday <laughs> yo I've got 11 people here this morning and I am like I'm super cool right now. That's awesome. Thank you for everybody coming by. Really appreciate it. Um, but, yeah, I had a doctor's appointment on Monday. Uh, you know, routine stuff for the most part. Um, the plan is I'm going to meet with her again on December or early December. Um, you know, give myself three months on medication. So three months of my, my metformin and insulin and see where that leaves my A1C. Um, you know, 90 days of me being on the meds before we do the test again. Um, but then we did add another medication. Um, so just some other health stuff. So, nothing real, real serious. Um, but, you know, just being... Taking precautions. Um, so... So those are the not so interesting details. It's been a, it's gonna, as I said, it's gonna be slow. And you know, talking with the eye doctor yesterday was kind of like, okay, when he started saying we're talking months down the line before surgery, I was kind of like, that will be. Yeah. You know, so, like, it's kind of nice where I can just... Worry about other stuff, I guess, right now, or... Lots of 100% stuff. Does it control well, at least? Yeah, yeah, right. That's pretty much the whole of it. You know, if I can get more steroids in me, then 
those steroids are cutting off those and oh good <laughs> ah, jukebox on fire Okay. Oh, I don't have the combination. That would be a problem. Do you now, Tom? And <laughs> they're both by the Sky former Skylander devs. Oh boy. Oh no. Are we actually talking about Flight Sim or? Plane mode. Interesting. But yes, we are doing uh, Party Hard 2 this morning. Um, as I said, we got a little promo code from uh, Tiny Build. Uh, I'll be hooked. Okay. You know what, I shouldn't leave a body lying around like this. If I can, avoid it. Um, so thank you to Tiny Build for providing today's code. They are the publisher on this one. Um, as I said earlier, we won last night's race by a minute and a half-ish. Um, so we split our two games with Amareth. Um, I've got four games left in group play for the, the tourney, for the Plando tourney. Um, we'll see how that shakes out. I figured airplane mode was uh, where you lose all internet, but have access to stuff. that I dropped earlier. Duh. Oh. One of those types.
Okay, you leaving? You gonna head somewhere where I can kill you? Unfortunately, I don't have the way to light it. <laughs> and my target is kind of not in a good spot. Oh my god. The airplane jokes. Oh crud, I, I let the the dealer get away. Um, but yeah, I'll be streaming something later today as well. Uh, undecided on what yet. Um, I know we've got quite the list of uh, different requests that we've been working through. Okay, we can use this to our advantage. Multi-kill. Yeah. I saw you're doing an inertial drift today. I got a code for it as well and I was like, okay, I'll hold off on the inertial drift. Uh... X, EXP Parasite. Bedlam at yet another party. Why did he choose this place, Dr. McBride? The pharmaceutical company, APO Inc., from which my patient was recently fired, was throwing a company party there. Who was he looking for? Darius had only one friend at work. His name was Archer. They said on the news he had been hospitalized the day before the party. That must be why Darius headed to the hospital. That night, the doctors at North Genesis Hospital were on strike. So party animals took the place over for their next shindig. If only they knew that, for many of them, it would be their last. Is that good news, Scroff? Or like, just having a good day. Okay, just saw Discord. Nice. Nice, man. Congrats. Glad to hear it. There's a helicopter. Can we do anything to it? Yeah, let's just restart. I figured, you know, driving a motorcycle into people was probably not a good idea. Probably not. So yeah, um, after today, we've still got five promos. 
in the pile. We've been trying to keep up with it. Um, but yeah, after today, um, we still got Neon Abyss, the Masks, Mask of Mists, Tin and Kuna, Sword Breaker, and Inertial Drift. So, but I know Dopey is streaming Inertial Drift today, so when we finish up our stream, we'll go uh, toss it over to Dopey for sure. Oh yeah, I should check what my goal is. Kill targets and don't scare off targets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or kill them all. Examine the blocked room. Get past guards with an ID and resurrect a guard. That's weird. Yeah, once you kind of get a feel for how you should do the levels, I think they're easier. But for now, we're kind of like, uh, we'll play it extra safe and slow. See, the thing was, in the first one, you could dance really, really lame. I don't know if anybody played the first one too much. But you could actually, like... It was like hold up on the D-pad, and you'd dance like an idiot. Oh, you did? Okay. You know, now we're a hardened killer. In the first one, you were kind of like the new, a new killer. So like, less of the ability type stuff. This one definitely has a lot more in terms of like, hey, you have a multi-kill ability. Here's other items. You know, you can craft a Molotov cocktail with some booze and gasoline. trash cans right there. Yeah, I played a bit of the first one. I think the only thing I really didn't like about the first one was there was like an achievement for Ooh, stun gun. Um, like logging in a ton of times so you had to like close and open the game like a hundred times which was kind of a silly achievement By the way, we are still in Leapfrog. 
Um, today we are going for 20 achievements. We've gotten how many towards today? Five. So we're a quarter of the way there. And on Monday, we get to start failing a G-Task. I mean, we've got a great team. Just say no to Boots. We all care so much about um, scoring points and winning G-Task. We are a super serious team. <laughs> really, there isn't a lot of stuff to use on this level. This is more about just isolating your victims. Crud. They saw me. They saw me. Crud. No. <laughs> You're preloading right now, Dan. Sure. What the frick? Did we just see that thing with the eye over its head like teleport in? I'm dead. What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Besides the fact that we died again, you know. Not so fast, sport. Not sp Don't call me sport.
You can reanimate a body. Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna try it just for the fun. I'm guessing guard is the thing with an eye over its body. But let's see what happens if I try to reanimate you. Okay. I'm gonna try to make it to reanimate the guard before I get reported to the cops. I don't even care, I just want to reanimate the guard. <laughs> that went great. There's always a line to cross. Take a police officer out. Oh. How, how, how did I? That was something. Not sure how I did it, but I did it. Because I didn't really fight the police on that one. Oh, man. Sorry. Late night race. Or late ish race. Yeah, that race almost took three hours. And then waking up. At a decentish hour this morning, so. Wait, there was another person right there, and they didn't see me kill that person. Great. We're just going to build a pile of bodies over here. Okay, but we're not going to go in front of that guard because that guard will mess me up. Yeah, we did the stealth approach. I'm just going to be an idiot now. Okay, you saw a body.
I blew myself up. Oh, I am a genius. I am really so super, super smart. <laughs> Oh no, turns out this game has an unobtainable right now. Well that's a... That's a stink. What achievement? Complete all hidden objectives is apparent... Oh wait, maybe it's not. Okay, so it is popping now, um, but if you had started the game too early, <laughs> go for it, Ima. I would love to see that. I mean, and realistically, you're getting like 50 TA out of it. See how stupid we can get here. Okay. Figure why not? Let's just see what we can do with some of this stuff. Like there were some pretty cool ones you could do in like the in the first one. Um So I'm wondering what I can do with a water jerry can. Like can I actually I'm wondering can I like electrocute people on the dance floor? No, cuz that doesn't look like it's um Okay. Yep. You can create a current of electricity. Let's see what we can pull off with this. Do something just like hilarious. Let's see though, can I break the speaker to... Nope. Well, breaking the speaker created a large fire. It was worth a shot just to see how stupid we could do stuff for once. For the fifth or sixth time this stream.
I didn't think that was going to create as big of a fire as it did, so... We didn't get a ton of kills with that one. Unfortunately. Yeah, there was like a, there was a level in the first one that had like a dance floor. And one of the things you could do was like sabotage the dance floor to electrocute a ton of people. Like, there were quite a few achievements that kind of, like, assumed you would do that. Ah! Good job, sub. That's a good one. Leave me alone! <laughs> I don't know, I, I found the first one, like, fun, and this one does a good job as well. Okay, I think the problem is is that the guards with the eyes over their head actually know who I am. And that's why they're so ready to kind of attack you. Dopey, story of my life. Oops. Yeah, and there's a good chance, Sub, that, like, you might have... I don't know what you... Like, how much you play or how much you purchase, but, like, this is... Like, the first one is probably one that, like, is in a lot of Humble Bundles. So... That's a distinct possibility. Um, I do want to check some stuff out. So let's see. Um, yes. Exit the current level. Okay. So like club was level one. Um, there were two optional objectives that we didn't do on the club.
for the bar we had a lot of ones that we okay so actually killing them all is a different isn't like a secret objective necessarily okay so let's see let's go back to the club and see if we can there's a stealthy objective and there's an anarchy objective Yeah, I'm just not a very good stealth person, usually. Like, I can kind of fumble my way through stealth. But I'm not, like, good at it. Yeah, like, I enjoy the, the genre. Um... There's definitely quite a bit where I'm like, oh, this is a lot of fun, but I know I'm not good at it at all. Yeah, I don't know if I... I didn't play that. I wasn't big on stealth. Um, I want to say my first real stealth game was probably like... Splinter Cell. To be honest. I got fairly far in it. I think what kind of stopped me for Splinter Cell was eventually I kind of just, my problem with most stealth games, I can start off doing okay and eventually get, you know, eventually I hit this point where I kind of just screw up and start using all my resources terribly. Yeah, I remember a lot of that thinking, oh, that is so neat. Cause like, I think I was like middle school age when the first Splinter Cell came out and you know, you're playing it and you're like, whoa, like I can shoot a light and it goes out.
Don't even joke. That's terrible. When it's over. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> okay, let's see. One of the dealers is there. Have fun. Okay, so you can't burn the cop car. Interesting. Darn, I was hoping for maybe like a, a real grenade at this point. That didn't do anything.
Let's see if we can finish off this level, though. Like, I'm very curious what the other objectives were. Those other secret objectives. Yeah, because we didn't get it that time. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to call it here. It's just about 12 o'clock. So that means Dopey is about to go live with some inertial drift. Um, we will stream that one probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, but the plan is I will be streaming later today. Some more Xbox stuff. I know we've been kind of coming back to this. Um, I like doing, you know, I, I've... I went really hard into Link to the Past, and we're kind of easing back a little bit, trying to get a better mix and a better balance between the two sides. I am probably in the same boat, Sub. I can't, I don't think I've really heard much or listened much outside of the singles. Um. But yeah, so on in terms of future promo, as I was saying, uh, we've got Neon Abyss, Mask of Mists, Tin and Kuna, Sword Breaker, and we also have Inertial Drift. So we'll definitely get those in. Um, in terms of streaming later today, um... You know how it always is. We got quite a list of games. Um, so somewhere between all the requests that you've put in and all the other stuff that I have left to play through, we will find something to play today. I don't know. if We could do cross code or tons of other stuff. So we'll figure something out because um, we have been working on our... Um, Bean Dive Recovery, um, in the last couple of days, we actually did surpass 25% recovered. So I thought that was a good little milestone to get 25% of the way there. Um, but yeah, we have plenty of choices for today. We will find something and we will play some Xbox. Not, you know, probably not a race or, well... Before I commit myself to saying that that is definitely the case, let's check the race schedule. Well, I missed the mystery sign up, but then there is a casual boots at five and an all dungeons key sanity tonight at 9 p.m. Maybe we'll do the AD keys this evening. But um, I think we'll do just Xbox stuff this afternoon. So if you enjoy me for my Xbox content, um, you will get Xbox content today, I promise. More than just that party hard stream. But what we're going to do, as I said, is Dopey just went live with Inertial Drift. So we're going to send a raid his way. If the raid mechanic will recognize the fact that Dopey's live. Because, you know, raids are always a little, like, if you try to raid somebody who just goes live, it's always a little slow. So 
So kind of have to always slow play it. But um, as I was saying, um, once again, this was Party Hard 2. Um, thanks again to Tiny Build for providing the code to show this one to you today. Um, always appreciate, you know, this isn't just me getting codes because of my great stream quality. This is thanks to everybody who shows up, watches, you know, follows, subscribes, all that fun stuff. So I really do appreciate it. You know, it makes it fun for me and hopefully, you know, you get some enjoyment out of it as well. Um, and see some different games from the person who's not good at the genre usually. <laughs> so, come on, Twitch, catch up. There we go. So we're gonna send over that raid, go have fun watching Dopey go fast. Um, until later this afternoon, I'll probably be back two, three o'clock today. Uh, as always, if you got some ideas and don't like what, or want something very specific, you know what to do. Send those suggestions, uh, and th there's always the request queue. So, thanks again. Bye. <laughs>